final score, Virginia Tech gets the win 71-52 over UNC Asheville, and this man gets his very first win as the head coach of the Virginia Tech Hokies. What would you make of this one? What stood out to you today against the Bulldogs? Well, uh, you know, I thought our resolve stood out to me. Uh, I thought we got off to a sluggish start. Uh, you know, I think a lot of it is, you know, first game jitters, uh, you know, them getting to know me, me getting to know them. Uh, but I thought the way that we challenged them at halftime and they came out, they were a little bit quicker to the ball. Uh, we were a little bit more aggressive, played well together on the defensive end. We played way more zone than I've ever played in my life, uh, but it was out of necessity. Uh, we just needed to because we were in foul trouble, but their resolve, you know, they, they, they didn't panic, they didn't get down, uh, stay together. That was one of the first things we talked about was play and stay together. And as a result, you know, we were able to push out, get a good lead, get a nice little run. The zone was very good to us. Uh, we capitalized on it and uh, we, we pushed it out and got some easier looks on the offensive end. But uh, collectively, it was a great effort. You know, I thought Shanette Hicks did a really good job of being aggressive towards the basket. Uh, you know, Reagan got going there in the second half. Uh, and, and, you know, we had some good production from our bench. Uh, you know, Genesis Parker, you know, although she's still a freshman and, and, <laughs> yeah. and she's a freshman and, you know, I know there's going to be, you know, questions. Why isn't she playing more? And it takes a little bit more than scoring. And she understands that. She's got to understand the philosophies and whatnot. But I think she showed that, uh, you know, why she should be here in the ACC. Well, let's go back to Shanette Hicks for a second because 24 points for her. That's a career high. Uh, topping the old mark of 19, which she sent against UVA a season ago. And like you said, she was aggressive. And she was aggressive to get the team going in what was a sluggish first quarter or so. You know, Shanette's like a, a little piece of putty for me. Uh, you know, I'm going to mold it into really what I want to mold it into. And today was a really good, uh, good, good showing of what she can do. Uh, I, I probably want her to play a little bit differently. Uh, you know, I think that she can do a tremendous job of setting up the other players. Like Vanessa only had four looks today, uh, you know, getting Sammy some easier shots. But the great thing is, is as soon as I call her over to talk about some things, she knows. She knows it's just a matter of, uh, of learning it, applying it, and doing it before. Uh, and instead of after, knowing it before instead of after. But I'm excited about the possibilities of what she can bring to to, to Hokie Nation, to our program. Uh, and today was a really good first step. Right, how about the uh, athletic play that we saw her make on what was Which a one? close pass? I mean, a lot of them, right? But that one where she comes up with the pass and spins away from the defense and gets to the bucket, gets the foul, the whole thing. Um, just fun stuff to watch, I'm sure. It is, you know, and, and the sound. Uh, when she makes a play like that, the sound in this building is, is unbelievable. Um, you know, I've, I've, I've coached 500 games uh, at JMU in the Convocation Center, and that place rings and it rings very loud. This place vibrates. It's, it's a different kind of it's a different kind of feel, and uh, you know, with with the sound system, and everything, it's really a big time atmosphere. Uh, we'll continue to grow the crowd, but Shanette, you know, plays like that just electrifies this whole building. And I uh, and, and it's I, I tell the kids that emotion is worth eight points, and uh, emotion and energy is worth eight points, and uh, it showed tonight. They started playing with emotion. We got energy into the building. You know, and it gave us like a little eight point spurt, and we got like a nice little cushion. Uh, but plays like that, and you get going in this building. I'm looking forward to many, many more plays like that in a tremendous atmosphere. All right, we'll finish up with this here with Coach Brooks. You did get into the foul trouble, which is obviously the worst, worst nightmare, nightmare for you. <laughs> uh, how did you feel like the team managed it? What did you learn in this first game going through that for the first time with this group? Well, first and foremost, you know, uh, UNC Asheville is a really good basketball team. They're scrappy. They won 27 games last year, which I'm sure you mentioned, 27 and 26. They, um, you know, they, they had some good wins last year. They went to the NCAA tournament. And for us to get into foul trouble, uh, we were fortunate that they weren't as big, so we were able to go smaller. Uh, uh, Sid uh, and, and Reagan, they're going to have to be a little bit smarter. They're going to have to play early defense. I thought they got surprised by a couple of the moves and put themselves in a bad situation. As the season progresses, we'll, we'll, we'll develop more uh, schemes where we're going to double and help them so we can keep them out of foul trouble. Uh, but tonight I wanted to see how they were going to, you know, just see how they would get through it. Uh, they did a really good job. Kayla Kinder came in, gave us a minute. Sammy went down to the four. It gives us an advantage because we're faster, but it gives us a disadvantage because we're smaller. But uh, all in all, I thought they handled the adversity uh, well, and I think this is going to help us grow as a basketball team. Coach, we'll leave it there. Congratulations. Thank you very much. We continue our coverage in just a moment. Virginia Tech gets the win over UNC Asheville. Oh!